My family runs a shipping business in San Francisco. We used to have two ships a week to Tokyo. We've been in shipping for two generations, Hank. I've never been on a voyage anywhere. I feel like Odysseus in the beginning of his journey. The Odyssey took ten years, Cole. This is the American century. America can rule the world after we win this war. We need to stay alive, Cole. These men are counting on us. Have you heard what the veterans are saying to each other? No. Golden Gate in 48. That's four more hard years of fighting. Spikowski, you have a new case. Two women, possible drink drive. How was that a case? The broad says she was doped and that somebody tried to kill her. Where did this take place? That's the bitch you're gonna love. Right across the street. What? A Chevy style line took a nosedive off the escarpment, fetched up underneath a Cola King billboard. Up to it, boys. We got bad guys to catch. See you later, fellas. Try not to work too hard. See you, Captain. Scared of my eye watching my caterpillar grow wings. I'm just trying to fit in. You can drive. Her face looks familiar. Well, that's June Ballard, <laughs> Tarzan's sister, beast of the Amazon. She's married to Guy McAfee. The captain has moved to Vegas now, but the two of them still have juice. Phelps, traffic. Detective Phelps. Hey, Bukowski. Long time no see. You could have called this in by megaphone, Enrique. <laughs> Phelps, this is Enrique Gonzalez. Enrique was a pretty decent middleweight. What do we have, Gonzalez? Broad drives right through the empty lot and off the side of the escarpment. Her story is that a movie producer doped her and her friend and sent the car over the cliff. Was anyone hurt? The driver's beat up. Not too bad, considering if she hadn't hit that billboard, you'd be scraping both of them off the pavement. The passenger's a Jessica Hamilton. She's just a kid. She's pretty knocked around. Kid gonna be all right? I think so. They've taken her to Central Receiving. If you want to take a look around, stall the ambulance. Thanks. Do that. One more thing. Watch out for the driver. She cuts rough. Hey, out of the way, bub. Uh, if you're looking for the coroner, he's down by the crash site.
You'll want to see this, Phelps. There, laid out on the trunk. And that isn't even the best part. You'll want to see this, Phelps. There, laid out on the trunk. And that isn't even the best part. They've been torn off. Where did you find them? They were stuffed in the young lady's handbag. I'll run a trace for semen when I get back to the lab. She's a long way from home. Drunk driver? Maybe not. How so? Well, a head I found without a body piqued my interest. See what you think. <laughs> Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. <clears throat> Is it real? No. I think it's supposed to be a replica of an Indian shrunken head. It's some kind of curio or movie prop. See the casting marks? What's it made from? Plaster of Paris would be my first guess, then painted. So we can rule out the murder angle? No, you can rule that in. That thing was wedging the accelerator to the floor. Whoever did it wanted these women dead. How does someone manage to tip their ride straight off a another cliff? Another day, another dollar. If the driver's in a fit state, we should ask. Looks like they're lucky they weren't more badly injured. Must have been unconscious. Being relaxed tends to lessen the soft tissue damage. Another day, another dollar. I think I've seen it all. Another day, another dollar. So what's going on over there? I've seen people like you, but I had to pay admission. What now? Can you drive to this one? Fine. Where are we headed?
Try making it to the next intersection without killing anyone. Can you do that for me? Don't need this? I understand you, but thousands wouldn't. So what's going on over there? So what next? How does someone manage to tip their ride straight off a cliff? The driver's in a fifth stage. Yeah. Mrs. McAfee, we would like to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. I prefer to use my maiden name, June Ballard. You might be familiar with some of my work. Can you tell us what happened here? You're kind of cute for a cop. Maybe a bit on the serious side. What about me, June? I'm a big fan of Beast of... I don't like. Keep out of this. What can you tell us about the passenger in your car? Jessica Hamilton. Poor Jessica. It's been a rough day for her. She's desperate to break into movies. What more can I say? And she's your protege? <laughs> you could say that. Yeah, that's a nice way to put it. We understand that you're still suffering from the effects of the accident, Mrs. McAfee. The officer says that you claim that you were drugged. Who did this to you? That rat slipped us a Mickey Finn. It's no wonder I feel so dopey. I can't remember. It's a serious offense to withhold information from the police during a criminal investigation, madam. I told you to call me June. You're making me feel like an old lady. And don't bother your handsome head about this. My husband will settle the score with Mark Bishop. We found a shrunken head. It was used to tamper with your car. You see, I normally don't drive off cliffs. The last thing I remember is getting behind the wheel. Mrs. McAfee, you're lying. You're wasting our time. You know what's going on here. You just won't tell us. You're sweet, but simple, too. The burden of proof is with the law. You should run along now. Don't worry yourself. This will all get sorted out. This is the way things get done in Hollywood. You mentioned a Mark Bishop. You think he might have had something to do with this? He is a movie producer. As for his involvement, you just leave it to me and my husband to worry about.
It's not going to play that way, Mrs. McAfee. We'll take it from there. <laughs> Relax, detective. You're not nearly as cute when you're mad. Mrs. McAfee, I think it would be in everyone's best interest if you accompanied Patrolman Gonzalez back to the receiving hospital. I'm being taken in? You could say that. On what grounds? On the grounds that you are under the influence of narcotics and that you are withholding information from the police. My husband is going to want a word with you, Sonny Jim. I think we're good here. Let's go see what we can shake out of the kid. You know the way. You can drive. KGP Aldecar 11K, 11 King. The car crash victim has regained consciousness at Central Receiving Hospital. Detective Phelps, here to interview a Jessica Hamilton. Jessica Hamilton? Oh, yes. She's in the room, right behind you, Detective. You can't hold me here. No! I don't need to be manhandled by a doctor. I need my lawyer! You're feeling better since this morning, Jessica? Hello, Doctor. I'm Detective Phelps. You're attending to the young lady from the auto accident? Yes. She's conscious now, but I doubt she'll remember much. She's still feeling some of the after effects. Jessica was drugged? She certainly was. Chloral hydrate would be my guess, and there's clear evidence of abuse. She's still a minor detective. Someone planned a double murder to cover up a statutory rape? Swaps seven years for life and gets Guy McAfee on their case? Doesn't make much sense to me. I guess it depends on what they had to lose. Feeling better since this morning, Jessica? A little. My head still feels swimmy. You're making me uncomfortable, just standing around here looking at me and not saying anything. Hmm. Don't think this is any use to us. Hello, Jessica. Uh, my name is Cole Phelps. I'm a policeman. I'd like to talk to you about your accident, if that's okay. Um, okay. Can you tell me what you remember about the crash? It's all kind of fuzzy. I remember waking up here. Nothing happened yesterday. You could have died in the crash, Jessica. Why would someone want to kill you? Someone wants to kill me? I wouldn't know anything about that. I just went along with Junie. She knows all about the movie business. Has there been an accident? We need to get in touch with your parents, Jessica. 
tell them what has happened. Oh, you don't need to worry them. They sent me along to stay with Aunt June. They trust her to take care of me. Jessica, if you don't want me to call your father, you better tell me what happened. Please, please don't call Daddy. Why are you being so horrible to me? Can't you see what I've been through? How did you meet Mr. Bishop? Well, Junie is a big movie star. You probably know that. She's doing a new movie. What do you know about Bishop? He makes movies. I had to do a screen test. That's when you say some lines in front of the camera with the lights turned on you. I know what happened to you, Jessica. Where exactly did it take place? Please, it's scary. It's really difficult to think of anything. Someone tried to kill you, Jessica. Do you get it? Forget about being in movies. It's time to act like a grown-up. I had to wear a robe and lay down on a stone. There were lights, a camera. It's not my fault. I'm not a bad girl. Why are you trying to hurt me? You should think about going home, Jessica. You're getting mixed up with people who will treat you like last week's trash. Are you crazy? I can't go home. I want to be a star. Take a smarter man than me to connect that. Seems irrelevant. It's the tale of this town, Cole. Lambs that go willingly to slaughter. Who the hell is that? Must be her lawyer. He certainly expedited her release. I don't like it, Cole. Why is she in such a hurry? We should follow her. There she goes. Come on. Back off. Hey, back off. Ballard is definitely up to something. Remarkably speedy recovery. Get in there and see what she's up to. is a tasty burger.
baby. No! I don't want him taught a lesson. You know what I want. Well, then make someone else do it! You still know people out here, don't you? Then make some calls! I'm gonna be very clear about this. You get this done, or I'm... Wilson's Hotel. Mr. Mark Bishop, that son of a bitch, lives in apartment 803. Sure, I got the film. So what's the story? I'm guessing she didn't stop for light refreshments. She made a call. Sounds like Mark Bishop has a heap of trouble headed his way. I've got an address. Wilson's Hotel, apartment 803. Oh, shit. You better step on it. If he's got any sense, he'll be as far away from home as possible. If he had any sense, he wouldn't have tried bumping off Guy McAfee's wife in the first place. Or he'd have done the job properly. McAfee will break a fella's legs just for looking at his broad the wrong way. What did you make of the kid? Are you? I wouldn't feel safe in a tank with you driving. I think she was doped out of her tiny mind and given the casting couch. That fucking bitch... Slow down! I think she was doped out of her tiny mind and given the casting couch. That... God damn maniac! I think she was doped out of her tiny mind and given the casting couch. That fucking bitch Ballard sold her out. So if Ballard was doing someone a favor, why did they try to kill her? All units in the vicinity in car 11K, 11 King, a 415 in progress at apartment 803, Wilson's Apartment Hotel, 1220 West 7th Street, Westlake Park, 11K code 3, all other units code 2, KGPL clear. Done it! Get to the apartment before someone gets hurt. Call 11K, 11 King, we have no other units available. What is your ETA to the 415 in progress at 1220 West 7th Street? Repeat, 1220 West 7th Street, Wilson's Apartment Hotel. Uh, uh, uh.